three. Hi there, this is Ross again at Wood Fire Power, and today I'm going to just show a couple of things that I'm working on right now. In addition to the steam turbine, we're working on a uh, conversion of a two-cycle weed eater engine over to a steam engine. So as a step in the direction of the fully functional thing to drive and couple to the boiler, what we've done is just started testing the individual pieces of the system we're going to put together. You see I've got my visitor here, kitty cat. Um, we're hoping we can get about 400 watts out of this, but we'll see what it can actually do. The system basically just has a little eccentric cam that's just some foam with a little micro switch, a air valve, solenoid valve, um, a switch to turn the power on to the system, and a 12 volt battery here and ultimately the system will charge the 12 volt battery as well as producing electricity. There's an air compressor over there supplying the air and here's the alternator so very soon maybe in the next video I'll get the alternator hooked up to the weed eater engine running on air but for right now I'm going to run the alternator just to show you what it can do using a drill motor. This is a 55 watt headlight lamp out of a car, just a standard replacement lamp. And as I start spinning the speed up, the light comes on. So this is a permanent magnet alternator and the faster it goes the greater the power coming out. And um, so in a, in a soon to be coming video, the, this engine will be driving this rather than the drill motor. And so then the electricity coming out will be coming from the air and then after that we'll connect it up to the boiler and, the and so it'll be the, the wood chips actually producing electricity. So for right now, um, the air is hooked up already so it's pressurized to here and if I flip the switch it will begin spinning. So that works pretty nicely. Um, it's spinning at about 600 RPM and that's basically just set by the timing of the air in and the piston motion and all of that. It's not really being set by load right now so I'm not sure how much power this thing will be able to put out. In other words, torque on the shaft, but we'll find out. But again, watch how quick that thing starts up. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Pretty much immediate. And on that one tank of air, it had run something like 10 minutes or so. And on the steam, it'll run all day long. So we'll see. This If this is making 400 watts, um, I need to be making about 2,000 in order to be running the house on it but this will be a good start and we'll upgrade to a larger two-cycle engine down the road.